Good afternoon, everybody. I've got get my finger out of there. Two nineteen in the afternoon, thirty-eight degrees. I'm just taking a look at how far along they are. And Helmsteaders is now gone. Let's be honest. That pile of debris is what's left of Helmsteaders. And a little bit of the white wall. And maybe you can all answer me a question. A few times when I've been videoing down here, my own fault, I've referred to Helmsteaders as Hirschbergs. And I catch my, I try to catch myself when I do. Was there ever a Hirschbergs in town here? Is that why I'm remembering that name? I don't remember if there was or not. Maybe one of you can answer me. But I'm going to go up Soul Street. And, uh... They were working on another house that burned up there. It was either last summer or the summer before. Bringing it down earlier today. I'll just take a ride on through. And Subway's still open. I'm surprised they've lasted. Mm, the green light. And this summer, the buildings that were brought down here, and right in front of me, what used to be the Swede Club and McKeesport Appliance Parts, uh, the Realty Company down there next to the church that they brought down. Oh, uh, there was another building up next to that yellow brick building they brought down. And over here, across Janeland Street, right in there, I think there was two or three homes that they brought down that were empty. I think. This is Jenny Lynn, folks. Oh, my. Somebody's in a big-ass hurry. Enjoy your day, whoever you are. We're heading up the hill. All the buildings up here that are gone. We got a whole block over there empty. Buildings gone over here. Ooh, that, is that the one that burned? I don't know. We'll head up the souls. 
I'm going to take Bailey because the Vercel's Avenue Viaduct has been closed for a while. This is Cornell, I think. Yeah. And this is why I was wondering why they tarred Spring Street. Because when I grew up, this was the top of Spring Street. Now it's closed off for the school. So why the heck would you tar a road that goes into a dead end? Take it easy because there's students here, I take it. Home's gone over there. Wonder what all the uh, cones are for all around that corner and up the street here. This is Bailey Avenue, everybody. In the Keysport Little Theater. Oh, there's one with a blue tarp on the roof. Front and back. And a dumpster. Maybe someone's remodeling. And Centennial School, which is no longer used as a school up over the rise there. Yeah. Okay. And this one, which I know I videoed before. That roof's completely in. Yeah, there's no traffic behind me, so I can come to a stop. where I lived as a young kid. My grandparents lived right there. That pole was right in front of their house. No longer. Federal Street, up and down, a lot of abandoned homes up through there too, just like these ones. And Butler, there's a lot of empty lots and abandoned homes up there. Same here with Evans. See all the empty lots. And let's go see what they might have been doing on Souls. Oh, 
Okay. The empty dirt right there is where they tore two homes down, I believe, two days ago. Yeah, I did a video of them being brought down and put it up on YouTube. Um, this one here, this empty lot, that home burned, I believe, last summer or the summer before. They were tearing it down today. And I think it's 1,700 block of souls. Yeah, that's 17. Um, this is the block where those homes burned. They cleared them all up. This one they knocked down and left the chimney up. I'll get turned around here. View it from the other side of the street. Make it easier to see. I got cars coming. But that one's been gone for a few years, too. Same here. And here. Okay, I should be able to turn into the empty lot here where there used to be homes and turn around, I would think. That Jenny Lynn Street right there, everybody. Waters at one time was Finney's. This was Hetherington's funeral home when I grew up. And that was the Jenny Lynn Methodist Church when I grew up. All right. Okay. I was trying to get a view of what is now. I think there was homes there too, but tore down a long time ago. Did out. Yeah, they they brought the structure down. They left the chimney. Again, I don't I don't tear down buildings, so I don't know what the reason for it is. And empty lot here too. But they brought. The, where the empty lot is there, they brought those down over a week ago, I think. And they went through the burned out structure here and brought it down and left the chimney. Again, I don't tear buildings down, so I don't know, you know, the method behind their madness. These two have been condemned for years. Empty and condemned. I want to go this way. Oh, I love the potholes. This is the back side of where that burned out house was that they're tearing down. I'm parked when I went down the hill. Still, I don't. Sounds like it. The dump truck was parked right where I'm sitting here. Uh, and that was loading debris up into the dump truck. This had been empty for years. 
and there's the alley. I'm gonna have to Google the alley name. But you can see how many lots are here for all the homes that are gone and empty and abandoned. This is Evans, everybody. Evans Avenue. Old Central. Here, as long as my camera run, we'll make a right and go down some of these other streets with all the empty lots and empty homes. And I've said, I'm going to tell you something I've said before in my videos. There is a picture of a trolley right here in front of this church when the trolleys came up Jenny Lynn Street. I have seen it uh, on the internet. I remember when they pulled the tracks out of Jenny Lynn. I was a little kid sitting over there in my little red wagon watching them pull the trolley tracks out. This big old beautiful home is empty. I'm not sure about this side. But if you can see, hope I have my camera pretty good. This is the epitaph that we've left our children. Some of these are still lived in, which that's a good thing, isn't it? But again, this is Pothole Central. You see where the buildings used to be. I don't know the alley name. believe this is Beaver. Come up to my old church. And all the homes through here are gone. Okay, what's going on? As that building started to fall out. Let's see what I can see. Um, yeah, that building started to fall, didn't it? The church. Well, who knows? Might be the last video I can ever do of old shoemaker. Unless they're getting ready to come in here and tear it down. Yeah, that's a church I went to growing up. Up till probably 1979.
They always used that red paint. They've been red all my life. My dad used to call it Tinner's Red. Maybe uh, go down to Bailey, see if we can come up uh, to the next one down Willow. See what we can see from that side, possible. And I don't know what's going on. Or if I can get through. Ooh, what's going on? There's another empty. Maybe there was a get together or something, party or something. Yeah, these three here are empty too. came down the day after I heard that it burned. One on this corner burned too. That's been, I guess, two weeks ago. And I got people behind me. I'm not trying to be a pain in anyone's butt. Empty, abandoned. I'd say empty and abandoned. Empty and ab that one might not be. But that one I'm pretty sure is empty and abandoned. And this corner one, yeah, knocked out windows, siding off. That's empty and abandoned. Let's see how far up we can get here. There is a truck there. Whoa, what the hell did I hit? There's something. There's one of these signs laying down in the road. Laying down in the road. All right. Yeah, they're going to get ready to tear that down, I think. Well. Hopefully, I'll be able to video it when they're tearing it. I'm going to end the video here, folks. That's Old Shoemaker Church. Y'all take care. I thank you for watching. And the truck is water. Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. You take care, and we'll see you.